Hello, all of you vain, gloriously wonderful people. This is the Weenie Dynasty, and I'm about to find out if it'll off-road in the snow. Of course, there were no actual votes. We used comments to pick all these cars, and we are still going to record one more vehicle. So leave a comment down below for what you think that one vehicle should be. And as we uh, set off, Thomas, dude, you nailed it, especially with that first bit. We're doing the Issy Sport and the dynasty because man such a good combination you were right fastest slowest as soon as i saw that i'm like yep definitely doing that one uh, i have to wait and find out if i did any other com or suggestions god we're already backwards um but yeah that that is a great great thought of the fastest and slowest uh not only in terms of manufacture but the dynasty really struggled getting up the mountain in the dry and the Issy Sport is the record holder in the dry. Um, so, you know, pretty good positioning there and, and pretty good contrast. But as I was saying at the beginning of the video, leave a comment. I have nine vehicles currently recorded in addition to the two that you see in here. So a total of 11. Uh, and I want to round that to an even number. And so when it's snowing for New Year's, I will record one, one more vehicle um, and pick it. Pick it right now. Put a comment what you think that one vehicle should be on this video. Leave a comment down below. Um, and of course, in what is that? So I've got uh, 10 cars coming. I'll do four more weeks of Willet Off Road in the Snow, and then we'll hold on to one till next year's premiere of Willet Off Road in the Snow. Uh, so, God, look at this thing struggle. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and start voting for the vehicles you want to see in regular Willet Off Road. On January 1st, though, just to give you a warning, which I actually this video would have already gone live. Wait, what did this video go live? Um, hmm. Let's see. I don't know the calendar right now. Uh, my phone handy. January 1st is a Wednesday. So uh, right after this video goes live, I'm resetting the voting. So all the existing voting is going to go away. Everything gets reset back to zero, and the votes can begin to pile in once again. I'm gonna do that every six months from now on. Uh, just reset the votes. So if you feel like, wow, there's no way I can ever get the car I want featured because the votes are too high, well, not necessarily the case because every six months we'll reset the voting. Um, <laughs> this thing, yeah, it, okay. So the Dynasty has a couple problems. One is that it just lacks a whole lot of power to get a, to get enough speed to have that momentum to carry me forward. Um, and two, what little power it does have, those poor little skinny tires don't have the, the traction to, to put that power down to the ground on the slippery surface. So you can see we start getting to, getting going forward here. But then as the incline and gravity take over, it's just wheel spin. There was nowhere on the throttle that I wasn't spinning my wheels here. I, and I tried and I tried and I tried long after we uh, had other issues. Long after that, I kept trying and it, the poor thing just never, ever found the ability to not have wheel spin. It was either so light on the throttle that I could never get enough speed to go anywhere, thus we would end in wheel spin uh, once it got uh, just as high as it could go with its momentum. Or two, you would have enough speed, but then we'd have wheel spin. I love that there are two other sports classics vehicles with me, one of which is that Mariachi Tornado being driven by Shaq Nader. That's a brave, bold choice, my friend. Um, <laughs> and then, of course, the Tornado Custom, I believe. Yeah, Schwinn's in Tornado Custom. Got a bit of speed, but the back end gets away from me over the edge through the bushes. I lose every bit of that speed. Just gonna try to power through it, but we gotta ask ourselves, will it off-road of the answer? No. No, not in the snow it won't. It is a DNF. Which means we won't do a controlled descent with the Dynasty, but thanks to a cargo bob, we can go to the top of the mountain and do a damage descent because that's what we're all really here for anyway right yeah so we're off and it barely even got off the ramp uh yeah this, this even the damage descent is just sad 
Uh, don't get me wrong, I really like the Dynasty. I, I think it's a beautiful car. It's not a fast car, but it has a lot of class and a lot of style. Um, and we don't always get that in GTA. Just, just that distinctive character. And, and we have it here. Of course, right now that distinctive character happens to be stuck. Uh, Sven tried to come in with a strategic hit uh, and missed a little bit. I'm kind of lamenting the fact that he missed. Um, a lot of times I look the other way when he comes in with his, with his strategic hits when I'm stuck. This time I'm looking, not looking the other way because you missed. You missed. But anyways, yeah, I'm just trying to wiggle the thing loose with the burnout at this point. Don't worry, we get there. There you go. Um, but it's sad that even with gravity pulling it down the mountain, it's still slow. Cause, and that was caused by that big, massive overhang uh, behind the rear wheels. It, they just, the bumper got hung up, and I couldn't get any track or any grip because the tires were up off the ground. So I uh, managed to hit all three people, and then I'm on a boulder. I can't back up. So we're once going to have to do a bit of a burnout as Shaq Nader just kind of rolls down the mountain in the air in the background. <laughs> that was, that was kind of good. Just trying to get a good burnout going here. Almost have it. Yep, almost. Almost have it. Trying my best here to see what's going on. Commander, uh, I think, was aligning for a strategic hit. I think that's what happens here. Yeah, I didn't do anything but knock open my door. <laughs> well done, Commander. 10 out of 10 would let you hit it again. Wait, that totally came out wrong. Anyways, my door is now gone, but the strategic hit. It worked. And I'm free. This thing's just spinning all around. It was it was fun. Uh, we recorded 11 vehicles across two days. Um... So holy cow, that was a lot of recording time. And so I want to say thank you uh, to everybody who is with me. Sven, Commander, uh, Shaq, I think Rocket joined at one point. I can't remember. Uh, Azan was in there. And it seems like maybe one other person may have joined for a brief period. I don't remember. And I'm sorry if I've forgotten somebody. I uh, can't get turned around here, so I've just decided eh, I'm going to go backwards and hit a tree. Just can't. This poor little car just can't win. No matter what it does, it just can't win. Trying to see if I can't get it to turn around here. And the answer is no. Trying my best. Oh, look, we're kind of pointing in the right direction, but then the back end comes back around. So I'm backing up. Try, just doing anything I can to go forward. Just forward. That's all I want to do here. Um, looks like Shaq's having a bit of an issue. Uh, you know, he got out of my way as if he was worried that I was going to hit him, but honestly, I don't think you really have to worry. I'm not getting any speed to do any kind of damage. I mean, this is it. This is as fast as I can get this thing to go through here. Oh, he spun out. I knocked him way back, and he winds up having trouble because of that. Uh, he has a lot of trouble getting back up the hill, finally. But we are down as Commander Plows to the fence. Three minutes, 46 seconds. Let's take a look at the damage on the Dynasty. All the lights and windows are gone. The hood and the left rear door is missing. The remaining doors and the trunk will not close. And there are bent wheels as Sven and Commander begin bouncing with excitement over to the side. We'll take a look at the support vehicles and the damage has sustained, which is pretty significant on all three accounts. So, yeah, but that is going to bring us to our next vehicle, the Winnie Issy Sport. This is a car that currently holds the record in Willard Off-Road of I want to say Jesus, 221, 223, probably 223, uh, which just absolutely smashed everything else. And yes, Raven or 347 Siba, uh, yeah, no, I, I understand what you're saying there. Uh, with, with it being a proper ASBO, uh, you well, a proper Corsa, but yeah, I, I think that was that was kind of good. Um, so yeah, I, I was expecting good things from the Issy. In fact, this is the very first vehicle that I recorded, I believe, when we started doing Mullet Off-Road in the Snow this year. I think I started with this one. Um, and it was just a nice way, a nice uh, a nice car to get into 
just said that. So again, Thomas, thank you for the comment. I, I don't think you could have picked a better pairing for the first video. Because uh, this thing, God, I love this car. It's just not really all that upset by the snow. About the only thing that I really noticed was some understeer. Um, which you get that with this car anyway, but with the slightly lower uh, traction because of the snow, it amplifies that understeer, but not enough that it really slows this thing down. As you can see, we are just flying up this mountain, leaving everybody else behind. Uh, I mean, just way behind. It looks like Commander might be the only one that's close to keep out. I think he's in a Flash GT, uh, which does pretty well off-road. Not the best, but it's obviously not as good as the best because we're looking at the best right now. Um, and this little car just continues to amaze me. I really do like it. Of course, be sure while you're watching along that you play Will It Off-Road Bingo if you don't know what I'm talking about. There's a link down in the description down below. God, that snow is blinding. Uh, you click that link, click on generate card once you get there. And then whatever happens in the uh, video, you, you look to see if you got a box for it. And if you do, you mark off that box, click it or tap it. And uh, if you get bingo, of course, put bingo in the comments down below. So yeah, getting a fantastic time with this car. Obviously not gonna quite match its original time, uh, but still within a pretty good uh, margin of it, considering the snow. We're up two minutes, 31 seconds. Will the Yissy Sport off-road in the snow? Oh yeah, eight seconds basically. Uh, about eight and a third seconds slower than it was uh, in dry conditions, making it the number one in the snow, number one sports car in the snow. And get this, if this were in the dry, would still make it the fourth out of 257 vehicles that we've tested. The fourth fastest. This little car is amazing. I, I just, I, just let that sink in for you that it beat out. 253 other cars that I've tested doing it in the snow when they did it in the dry. It, it, it is really incredible. I love this little car. It, it's just, I can't say enough good things about it. Wow, it looks like Commander's the only one with me actually at this point. Uh, oh, that's right. There was one other person with me and uh, they made a poor car decision and couldn't get even up the first part of the mountain. So, yeah, car choices matter. Except for me, where I get no choice. Well, I did for in the snow. I chose all 11 of them. But I chose them based upon recommendations and things that I thought would make for interesting video. We do have a good, uh, a good mix of sports cars, muscle cars, sports classics, and I think maybe a supercar too. Supercars are boring, though, so... And they are, let's admit it. They're just, there's too many of them in GTA. They're, they're too similar. They're not anything special anymore. Uh, the real fun is in sports and sports classics and muscle. Gotta admit it, it's true. But look at this thing, it just handles off-roading so well. I mean, there's a lot of body roll that I had to be careful of so I didn't flip the car. But as long as you're mindful of that, it, you, you have just, an absolute good time. This thing was truly made for rallying style stuff, and that's basically what we're willed off from it is. I should have called Willet Rally. It's really more of a rally climb than a true test of off-roading since there's no water or rock climbing. But anyway, it just it just goes and goes and goes and goes and just loves to be in the dirt. And it's just I love this little car and I should drive it. I should sell every other car I own. But we're down 2 minutes, 19 seconds. No, never. I own like 330, 340 cars in GTA. I would never sell them all because I wouldn't want to take that amount of time. Plus, I love my cars. So, time for the damage descent. We're back at the top of Mount Chiliad, flinging ourselves off with Commander behind me in his Flash GT. So, the solitary support vehicle. And wow, he got one heck of a launch off the mountain. He just went flying by. Like, he's just, he's gone. 
Let's see if we can catch up to him at all. I, oh, there he is. There he is. Kind of glimpsed something for a second. Oh, it looks like he's having issues, as they say. But uh, if you're a member of our Discord server, uh, I posted a uh, screenshot from the behind the scenes uh, version of this video. Whereas we were going back up the mountain for the damage descent, uh, a commander rolled it like right as we began to climb. And so I just passed him and he's just laying there on the side. It's pretty good. Uh, and I just titled that photo issues. And of course, you can check out that behind the scenes version of the Lit Off Road every week by either becoming a channel, uh, channel member here on YouTube, a Twitch subscriber over on Twitch, of course, or a Patreon supporter. All that information, description down below. So, yeah, the SC Sport doesn't even waste any time in a damage descent. It's just, even though we're spending not a lot here in the bumpy, muddy bit, this thing is just such a planted car. I mean, look, you can drive over a Vapid. So, I mean, of course it's getting a good time. And thank God, because seven minutes of this video, well, actually eight minutes of this video, was dedicated to the dynasty. So this thing needed to speed things up for us here. Oh, oh I was trying to go over the wood pile. Couldn't do it. I really do want to get over that wood pile sometime soon. But we're down a minute. 39 seconds. Let's take a look at the damage on the NC Sport. All the windows, one headlight and one taillight gone. The hood and the right door are missing. The door, the remaining door, and the trunk won't close. Has bent wheels. And there's a teeny tiny amount of body damage. And we'll take a look over there at Commander Bingo. Commander Bingo. Commander Hobos. Flash GT. I was thinking to remember to plug Bingo later. Uh, and it's pretty banged up. And yes, if you didn't play a little off-road bingo, what is wrong with you? Go play it. Link in the description down below. And come hang out with us on the Vainglorious Discord server. Again, link in the description down below. So until next time, I'm Brandon, reminding you to stay Vainglorious.